The team that I work with are pretty rare in the UK because we're a 24-7 caseloading team. Now, we consist of six midwives, and each of us will care for about 40 women in one year. Kim, keys on table. We will look after that lady. We'll be available to her on the telephone 24-7 to see her through the antenatal period, be there for her labour and birth, deliver the baby, and then look after her for postnatally as well. It's much more interesting, I'd say, because we get to meet the families at home and we get to meet the other children, meet the partners, and just the, the fun of getting to know people and have, having had a good gossip with them as well. Oh, I can't get up by myself. Right, go down one and pull me. Oh, thank you. Turn around. Sarah's expecting her second baby, and she didn't have too good a time first time round. She had a very hard time with the labour, and her labour completely stalled, and it was advised at that point that they bail out and have a cesarean section. And again. Keep going. After Ben was born, I, to be honest, didn't bond very well with him because of the way he was born. I don't know what it's like to do it properly. Normally, <laughs> I'm worried I'm going to fail at it. One thing a woman's supposed to do, I won't be able to do it. Now she's expecting her second baby. She has agreed with the recommendation that she go for what we would call a VBAC, and that stands for vaginal birth after caesarean. Dominique's been brilliant, bless her. She's very, very positive. She's very determined that it's all going to happen properly and she's going to be there to support me 100%. And she knows like, I've got back problem history and she's got all that like, mapped out. I'm hoping just to go with gas and air um, throughout the whole thing and uh, push it out normally. I'm sure she'll be there holding my hand, making me laugh <laughs> to make it a bit easier. Hello there. Hello. How's the bump? Fine. Still here? Yes. Any sniffles? Nothing. Okay. I've been having Braxton Hicks and things like that, but, which I've been having for three weeks, so it's no yes. different. What I suggest we do is put some, lots of good magic on this, okay. because you will be turn plus 12 on Sunday. Okay. And that's fair enough. You could say you've done, you've done your bit, in which case I will meet you on the morning and we'll have an elective section that's instead. Happened, yeah, it's not what we want, is it? There he is. Limbs over there? Yeah, I think I'm just getting a prod now. Oh, hello. There we are. Now, that's just showing off. <laughs> he is showing off. Did I say he? You do. You say it every time, actually. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Freudian slip, Freudian slip. I, I will admit I'm getting some boy vibes. Mm. She's worried that her body can't give birth naturally. She had caesarean last time. There's a major operation, and I'm waiting outside, waiting for him to go in, which seemed like the longest ten minutes of my life. You know, and the cleaner walking past with a mop, and I'm like, this is the most important day of my life, it's another day for you. But for me, yeah, and it, it just real long, it seemed like another hour, but it was only like five minutes. And then eventually went in, and it was, well, I, I'd hope, I hope this time I don't have to go through that again. I hope it's going to be natural and I get to see a, a natural birth. <laughs> Oh yeah. Well, what I've done, <laughs> what, I, what I've done is I've actually bleeped the senior registrar. But if they're up to their gloves in something, I've got to wait for their response and for them to tell me that they're on the way to the phone to speak to me directly. It's quite a clever system. Oh, it is actually. My my cunning plan is that by doing this, you'll go spontaneously into labour. You see. Okay. <laughs> Let's hope. I'm so worried about how it's going to go this time and just hoping it's not going to go on for too long and do it all, all naturally. When was the last time you had Kadajamol? I was this morning. 
I haven't taken it since, in case it's not loud. Oh, of course you are. Do you want to come in one of those? Can do. Yeah. I don't think they're much, yeah. but... Well, it takes the top off it, doesn't it? Um, and it particularly helps with your bag. I know it's useful for that. She's going to have a bath, but I don't think they brought a towel. Oh, that's OK. Towels I can do. We've got that's everything right. else but. We've got stuff for the baby, towels, but... No, no, no. That I can do. Towels coming in, Sarah. Cool. I'll run your bath, then. I think even in the most straightforward of labours, there will come a time, however transient it may be, where you begin to seriously doubt yourself, and that's where the support issue comes and why it's so important to have known and trusted supporters in labour. If you are with somebody who is sympathetic but encouraging and making it absolutely clear that many, many women have been through this before and some have even come back for, for second helpings, then it's very reassuring. <laughs> Don't let her slip back. Yes, 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 yes! Good pushes, go on. Go on, you can do it, you can do it! <laughs> oh, that was so brilliant. Nice, Lovely. You're getting around that corner, you are. Did you feel baby moves then, Sarah? No? Not really. That was it's huge, really, because it's the head starting to rise on the perineum. Head up. That's it. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Come on. That's it. That's it. That's it. I can't do it. You can't. Right. There you go. That's it. That's it. That's the one. That's the one. Good girl. Go on. That's it. Keep it going. That's it. Yes. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. That's it. Go on. All right, sweetheart, you can just put me pressing there gently. Good girl, now push. <laughs> That's if it will, darling. This is the ring of fire. Go for it. Get your and go for it. Go on. Keep it coming. Go quick. That's good. That's good. OK. And let's have another push now. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. I'm going to breathe. Breathe for me. Breathe. Open up those legs. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Breathe, sweetheart. Breathe. Breathe for me. Breathe. I need you to breathe. Now, give me a little push. Just a little push. And stop and breathe. Breathe, 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 breathe. Breathe gently. Gently, gently, gently. So gently now. Butterfly soft. Now, I want you to give me just a little push and then breathe gently. Come on now, you're almost there. Little push and breathe again. Breathe, breathing it gently. Let's have the next little push. Okay, and breathe for me. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Gently. I know it stings like hell. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Breathing, just breathe now. I want you to breathe. Let your face go soft, soft, soft. So soft, so soft. Soft, soft, soft face, soft face, soft face. Soft face, soft face, here we come, here we come. Soft face, soft face, breathing, breathing, breathing. So gently, so gently. Soft face, there we go, your baby's head is born. Well, wait for the next one. Sue, could you just help me with this clip? Your baby's head is born. Well done, my love. We're waiting for the next push, and your baby will be born. It's five past eleven, and let's do it right here. We... Oh, here we are. Five past eleven, right? Hello, welcome, and about time to let's let's have a look at you then. Boy. Okay, let's go for a clamp. Right, so we got over. You go. Come on. But watch out there, watch out there, watch out there, what you've got. Watch out, watch out. It's OK. It's OK. okay. Bring it through. Mm. What have we got here? Boy. Oh, have we got the oxytocin? No, because I need to take the FSD, please. Yeah, just disconnect it. Keep trying, keep trying. 
Where is it? There OK, there we go. Okay, right. Okay. Yeah, can I have the oxytocin again fairly quickly? It looks like another bed. Okay, well done! Very starry-eyed. OK. All right, honey. He's big again. Here's another big one. OK, I'll have, no, I'll have to go... If you just pop them there, but I'll have to wait till the placenta's delivered. <laughs> when we know he's all right. Hello, you. Okay. Yeah, very shocked. We did give him a good old run. Let's start this one off. Did it's it. filthy. Well done. Oh, yeah. Just did absolutely it. breathe that out. So yeah. he had uh, yeah. Yes, he decided to. Drama queen. Uh, I think we might get the ergometrine ready. Yeah, well, they're going to need 50 Asinto as well. Yeah, I think so. And just breathe this one out. Now, 50 Asinto. Can I have it? Has somebody drawn up your ergometrine? And we're going to need a urinary catheter, please. Yeah, we're contracted now, OK? I think we've got a... OK, can you just check the ergometrin and put it in? Yeah. I've already checked it. Yeah. Yeah, I think we've got... Fine. There we are. I'm starting to cry, honey, OK? Yeah. Somebody's got the yeah. in there, please. Is that what you're doing? OK, in there. And can I have the bag connected as well? And Is that the 50th Sinto? Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Lindsay, can we get this daddy into the bar? Do you want to come in here? Because she'll want to know where you are, should we? He's come out he's got, like, the poo to mum. And his airway just sounds a little bit wet. So can you hear me? He's making oh. grunty noises. Who's this? Hello. Okay. What just making sure you don't get a bit of the wound. It's funny, but there is no way you've gone to one point four. Okay. All right. So you managed to dump and everything. Now, you just breathed her out. You're fabulous. Sorry about the tear. I did your best. It's my fault. It's not your fault. It's you've been choking. You've been so brave. You beat the forceps. What can I say? You goddess. Um, Hi, Danny. Right. Mm -hmm. Darren's just with your lovely boy there. He's looking very indignant. I'm sorry. Right, OK, let's get some more local there. Now, you are going to need some gas in there, my love. They wanted me to look at the trace in the eyes. Feel free, when Dr Henry starts, feel free to get stoned on the NHS. You've earned it. Just tell us when you're ready and I'll coach Sarah through. Ah! Oh, hang on. There are some things you need to be sober for. Sure, little boy, mummy. Mm. He's making funny noises when he's breathing. Zachary! Zachary! Where's that? Looking straight at mummy. Do you want to touch him up? Can you touch him up? Where's that? It's your son. You pushed out. I think he's going to look like his brother, don't you? That's what I think as well. Well, I've got to hand it to you, Sarah. You slogged it out tonight. You really did. Poor old Darren. He left us. To me.